So there are two gaze control centers. One is in the pons and one is in the midbrain. The pons, do you think it controls horizontal or vertical eye movements? Think, think, okay. Yeah, it controls horizontal eye movements. Why does that make sense? Well, because the pons has the abducens nucleus. It does not have any nucleus that can move the eyes up or down. It only has the abducens nucleus, which moves the, the eye, abducts the eye. So the pons, in fact, the caudal pons, right outside of the abducens nucleus, which is gonna sit right about there, uh, right outside of that is an area of the pons that is called the perimedian pontine reticular formation, PPRF. It, that is the or, horizontal gaze center. Vertical eye movements and torsional eye movements, torsional eye movements we will virtually completely uh, ignore. Um, vertical and torsional eye movements are controlled in the midbrain in an area just outside of the ocular motor nucleus, just outside of the ocular motor complex. Remember, the complex is the both ocular motor nucleus and edinger westphal nucleus. And these, there, there are, there's a center that controls virgins, there's a center that controls um, uh, vertical and torsional eye movements. And that is up in the midbrain. Well, of course it is, because that's where the machinery to make vertical eye movements uh, resides. So that's really all I have to say in this video, but I'm going to repeat it because it is so important. It is so useful to you. If there is a, uh, is the, if there's a deficit in a horizontal eye movements, then you might consider looking in the pons. But if there is a deficit in vertical eye movements or torsional eye movements, then you are, ha have no interest in the pons. That is not where, the, the problem can lie. It cannot be there. So there are lots of, of conditions that affect vertical eye movements, torsional eye movements, um, neurodegenerative diseases such as pseudobulbar palsy, um, or I'm sorry, supernuclear palsy, supernuclear palsy. There are a number of conditions that affect vertical eye movements and not horizontal eye movements. And there are um, an important group of of conditions that affect horizontal gaze and not vertical gaze. So we're going to look at those, but I want you to remember, I want you to remember now and forever that horizontal gaze center is in the pons and the vertical gaze center is in the midbrain.